Hello, here we are today presenting you the first talk of uh, Cotif APM. We have the founder, Mr. Vasik Bamla, who created this framework here with us today, and uh, we'll discuss about Cotif APM, what it is, how what it, was it created, what was the need behind it. Over to you, Mr. Vasik. Can you tell us why was Cotif APM created? What was the need for it? I was working in a project in my previous organization, so over there I was. Uh, Task, give a task to do mobile automation, and I explored many different libraries available. So I feel I felt that APM was the right choice, but directly using APM library was uh, resulting in writing too many duplicate lines of code. So I created a framework which will reduce those duplication, and uh, it was uh, giving me good results. Like uh, the test was very clean. And the client also liked that uh, test. Uh, and for it, the application which I was automating was a kind of a two-way interaction uh, between uh, Android and iOS. So it was a kind of a complex application. So that framework uh, helped us uh, in automating complex scenarios and writing clean code. Yeah, uh, but what was the need of, for you to create another framework? You could have directly used APM. Why did you create a, another framework by creating a wrapper around it? What was the need for it? Uh, as I said, that uh, right using APM directly was resulting in duplicate code. Like, uh, for example, uh, tapping on an element, swiping. It was like right creating touch actions multiple times, and uh, if uh, it will. Uh, so to remove those duplication, I created a wrapper framework which will uh, encapsulate all those duplicate lines, and that can, framework itself can be reused in a different project as well. So if I change to a, if I go to a different project, I don't need to recreate those uh, wrapper libraries again. So it will be like on uh, one place, and be, uh, anybody can reuse it. So that's why. Okay, so uh, tell us one more thing. Like, are you still maintaining the project, or are you still uh, deciding or uh, working upon it to make it in a better? Uh, looking at the current situation, I feel that that framework requires a revamp. Uh, maybe I need to rewrite some <coughs> parts of the library to make it more easy to use for the user. So I'm uh, looking forward to you know, uh, revamping and rewriting the framework again to make it more easy to understand and use. But the existing framework, will it be available to the existing users or uh, uh, will it be like discontinued from the GitHub repository? It will be there. Uh, the, it is uh, still in a working condition and anybody wants uh, it, they can use it. They can refer to the documentations available on my website. And uh, it is uh, still in a good shape, but it, it is uh, having its own uh, disadvantages which uh, people will understand when they start using it. So to redu reduce those uh, disadvantages, I am planning to start uh, in the rewrite. Okay, thank you so much Vasik for your time. Uh, we'll continue again with this talk and we will uh, uh, like discuss more about the framework in the next coming upcoming videos. Thank you so much.